Hey, how you doing? David Taub here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all's going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today we're going to do a one guitar strumming version of the Crosby, Stills, and Nash song, Southern Cross. Now this is from their 1982 release, their album Daylight Again. And the song is only five chords, um, but there's a lot of variation in the verses, which I'll show you, as well as we're going to capture the feel. There's a lot of different strumming and rhythm patterns, and I'm going to go over all of them. The song's in the key of D major. It's moderately slow, about 84 beats per minute, and it's in 4-4 time. And the original version is in standard tuning, so just go ahead and tune your guitar. Standard A440 tuning, low to high, E, A, D, G, B, and E. And here are the chords you're going to need to play this song. You need A major. And in the chorus, we're going to sneak in an A suspended fourth, so put your pinky on that D note on the third fret of the B string. G major, D major, and you're going to need B minor. That's it. Now if you're having some trouble with that B minor chord or bar chords in general, maybe changing bar chords, open chords, I could really help you with that. Click on the link in the YouTube description box below and I'll send you an extended play video lesson. It's not on YouTube on my best bar chord uh, technique tips, playing tips, changing tips. It's loaded with techniques and exercises that'll really get your bar chord playing and changing blasted to the next level. It's a killer video lesson. I'll pair it with an ebook, which also has in it more lessons, more exercises. Killer one-two punch. Send them both to you for free. Just click on that link below. So the song kicks off with the intro, which is pretty much the same progression used in all the verses. And it's an interesting progression because it's a five, four, one progression. Um, so it's going from the A chord, five chord, to the four chord, which is the G, to the one chord D. Uh, let me play it for you. Now it's two guitars. Um, on the original recording. I kind of have it arranged for one guitar so you could just do it like a strumming version. Here's the intro. I'll play it through. It'll sound like this. Got out of town. And that starts the first verse. Let's get the intro down first. So you're going to play the A chord down, down. Then you're going to do a chuck. And then you're going to do a down chuck, up chuck, D, C, down chuck, U, C, up chuck. So it's, and for the chucking, I'm just kind of hitting the strings with the palm of my hand. I'm coming down on the strings. I'm throwing that hand into the strings at the same time the pick hits the strings, right? It's all pretty much with that, with open chords, with that right hand, with that pick hand, right? So on that A chord, down, down, chuck, down, up, chuck. And then you're going to go to the G chord, same thing, down, down, chuck, and then a chuck up down chuck, up chuck. So two together. Now on the D chord. All right, so we're doing a down, down, chuck, right? And then a down stroke. And then straight eighth notes, down, up, down, up. All right, so all three slow. And this is important because he does this throughout the verses. Okay, and then you repeat the progression, same thing on the A, G, and then on the D chord this time, just do the down, down, chuck, and then you go right to an A chord with one down stroke and let that ring um, in the intro. So that was last four chords, A, G, D, A let ring, and now we're into the first verse, got out of town first verse is long. Let me play you the whole thing. What you need for all of the verses, all three of them are in that first verse, except he adds stops to it. But let me play you that first verse, then I'll go back and explain it. It'll sound like this. Right from the God out of town.
into the think about how many times the pre-chorus. So the first verse, what you're basically going to be doing is you're going to be playing the rhythm basically just like the intro. And when you get to the A chord, now this time on the A chord, instead of just like letting it ring, you're going to let it ring, but then you're going to do a down, up, down, up, because we want to fill up the sound a bit, just one guitar. Down, up, down, up. She was making A for the trays G on the outside. Down the downhill run. Same thing. So basically you're doing A, G, D, A, G, D, A, and you do that three times, just like I showed you. Then you do A, G, D a fourth time. It's a noisy bar and Avalon tried to call you. Here's where it changes. Built on a midnight watch, A, G, I realize, D, twice, B minor, you ran away, A. Let me play that last line for you. Built on a midnight watch, realize. So you've got to build up into that pre-chorus. Now when you get to the D, down, down, up. Down, down, up. Right, one and think of it like that. Down, down, up, B minor, down, down, up. And on the A, down, down, up, up, down, down, down. All right? And if you guys like, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel really helps us to keep bringing that content. And ring that subscription bell because then you'll be notified when I have new lessons posted. Also, please leave a comment below. Let me know how you like this lesson. Let me know what lessons you'd like to see coming up in the future. And if you like this video, please click the like button. Give it a thumbs up. Share it. And thank you so much for your support. And that's going to go right into the G chord, which is our pre-chorus. Think about how many times I have fallen. we got to kind of build it up into there. And now we're going to change the strum pattern a bit. Let me play the pre-chorus and then I'll go back and explain it. And this is the think about how many times I have fallen, spirits are using me, larger voices calling. It'll sound like this. I'll take it right from that last line of the verse, the built on a midnight uh, watch. goes into the chorus okay see again we're building that pre-chorus up into the big chorus right okay so basically that pre-chorus is just G to D G to A uh, three times around um, the strum pattern I'm using on most of the chorus except for that last A chord is down 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 up that last chord to A you're gonna do this strum pattern down Okay, the first one, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, followed by straight eighth notes, all down strokes. One and two and three and four and... Okay, eight downs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put them both together on the A chord. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then that goes into the big chorus, the big D chord. Let me play that last line slow so you can get an A chord, what uh, heaven brought you. I have been around into the big D chord and into the big chorus. And that chorus is, I have been around the world looking, looking uh, for that woman girl. It'll sound like this, because we're gonna change the strum a little bit again. I'll take it from the long A chord in the pre-chorus. Stop, and you know it will. Back repeats the intro. We're gonna let the strum breathe a little bit more in the chorus, let the chords ring out a little bit. So on the first D chord, I've been around, down, 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 up. Then you go to G, around. G, just hit three downs. 
the world. A down, down, up, up, down. Then add the pinky for A sus4. Down, up, down. If you listen to the record, you'll hear, I hear that. It's in there for sure. You could just stay on that A chord, but adding that A sus4 adds a little interest. Now on that A, I just hit it three times and then stop. There's a hard stop there. And, and Stephen Stills like, and you know it will, and you start over with the intro. And you do the intro uh, again, just like you did in the beginning of the song. So basically, that's the three parts. It goes intro, verse one, pre-chorus, chorus, repeats the intro, and then it goes into verse two, pre-chorus, and chorus. Now, verse two changes a little bit. The pre-chorus and the chorus are the same. And after that uh, second chorus, there's a little interlude guitar solo part, which if you're just playing on one guitar, you'll probably leave out, or you could just play the chords. He just basically does uh, repeats those intro chords again. Uh, and then it goes into verse three, which is a little different again from verse two and verse one. So let's go over the variations in the verses. So he changes the amount of times he's doing the progression in verse two. And what he does is he, he inserts more stops at the end of the A chord. Let me play you verse two. It'll sound like this when you see the Southern Cross for the first time. pre-chorus. So verse 3 is like a shortened verse 1. He just goes to that D, quick D, B minor, A once. Um, and he does that on uh, someone fine will come along and make me forget about loving you. And then it goes right back in the Southern Cross and then he ends it. So he just adds that one line in the Southern Cross. That's it. That's the whole song. Enjoy it. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel because that really helps us to keep bringing the content. Ring that subscription bell. Then you'll be notified we have new lessons posted. Also, don't forget to click on that link in the YouTube description box below. Get my free video lesson and ebook on essential bar chord playing and changing. It'll really get your bar chords blasted to the next level. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for your support over the years and years. So appreciated. Stay tuned. I got a lot more coming, right? Keep up all that hard work on those guitars. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. So enjoy the journey. Take care, rock on. See you in the next lesson.